Burundi is uh, an African country. It is a beautiful place. And it's my home. Unfortunately, uh, the country has uh, suffered a lot because of uh, an ethnic war that lasted uh, 13 years recently and the uh, previous wars as well. There is a tragedy behind every beauty you see. It's a community that has been traumatized uh, by all sorts of miseries. This is uh, one of the poorest countries on earth. There are no tools, no medicines. Physicians, nurses are not well paid. Some of the patients we, we see really suffer from uh, diseases that have been eradicated uh, outside of Africa. Uh, diseases such as HIV are actually hitting this place more than any other place in the country. Hello everyone, my name is Deo. Welcome to Village Health Works in Kigutu, Burundi. When we first arrived, where the clinic is now, there was nothing, we started from scratch. The community really uh, has been so crucial in the construction of these uh, clinics. And they started immediately making bricks, uh, thousands of bricks. Um, and so I went back to the States, uh, I started raising uh, money. We, we were able to um, lay the foundation with the community members carrying stones on their heads, the clinic was opened December 4, 2007. That very first day, it was like the whole population of this province was at the clinic. It, it was unbelievable. There was a huge crowd of people, and since then, you know, people have been coming and uh, non-stop. Hundreds of patients have been They know that. It's the clinic, it's not anyone's clinic. It's a public clinic. People come from everywhere and they are received. We, 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 we have quite a lot of uh, medicine here, unfortunately. Uh, we run out of this uh, pretty quickly because we see a lot of patients. Uh, we, we also need uh, um, infrastructure at the clinic. It's not just enough to have medicine when we don't have uh, enough space for, you know, where we can keep medicine or getting more patients. Uh, and most of them actually are women who are coming with their children, uh, who are also sick. And um, many are pregnant. You look, you look at someone who is in such terrible pain, who has no home, no one around to help. And you just wonder, how can this person find happiness again? It's a moral question. Well, there's health, there's hope. Uh, we've planted a marvelous seed of hope. And that seed of hope is no longer a seed. It's growing. Thank you so much for your support. We couldn't be doing what we are doing without you. Thank you so very much. <laughs>